Hey there, programmers! Welcome back to Pocket Code Tutorials. My name is CodeGreen01, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a proper functioning pen in Pocket Code. So, what does an improper pen look like? Well, let me show you guys. An improper pen to me in Pocket Code looks like an etching etch sketch. So, as you guys know, an etching sketch just fall is one line, and you can create an image out of one line. So, I'm going to show you guys how to remove that etching sketch effect where you can draw properly. Let's go ahead and take a look into the code. So, as you guys can see, this is the only object with code in the whole program, actually, and uh, I set the transparency to 100%. That way, you don't have to look at a green circle following your finger everywhere on the screen. And in the forever loop, it's just your touch detection. It, it'll basically place the object in the pen wherever your finger is on the screen. So it just goes to screen touch X and screen touch Y. You can find these touch detections under device in the formula editor under touch detection. You have screen touch X, screen touch Y, screen is touch, screen touch X1, screen touch, screen touch Y1. Now, after that is set, set the pen color, then the magic script. That is the whole script right there. That's it. And this is what makes all the magic happen, is that wait point one seconds. And I'll get into more depth about that here in a minute. Now, let's take a look at the rest of the code. As you guys can see, I have a repeat until brick, and what is inside of that brick is not screen is touched. Now, why is it set up like this? Well, basically what happens is, when you put your finger down on the screen, it will keep putting the pen down on the screen always, forever, until you lift your finger up, and at the end of this loop, it's pen up. So it just works like you would do when you're drawing on paper. When you put the pen down on paper and start drawing, and then lift your hand up. After you lift your hand up, the pen will come up. That's how it works. And why do we need the point one seconds? Well, very simple actually. So, you, if you've noticed, the line would fall. And we've created a function to where it'll always go to your position first. And with that point one seconds, it'll give us enough time to put our finger to wherever we want on the canvas before it can create that line. And then you can create the line. So what happens is it, it, it just basically puts an object where your finger is first. After that point one seconds is up, and then it will continue with the rest of the code. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now. So now you can draw anything. <laughs> LOL. See? Look at that. And that was all from just a few bricks. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to hit that bell notification icon right next to it because I will be uploading more content during my free time. Keep those brain juices flowing guys. Start your program small and build them on the way up. That is how you guys can create pretty cool programs. Alright guys, your boy CodeGreen01 signing out.